In these videos we will uh, set up a G120 with the uh, safe torque off on Profisafe with the S7-1200. Uh, some things have been pre-done here just to speed them up. I have a 1200 in the project. Uh, I've turned on safety. I've actually already done a compile so the safety blocks are actually already in the uh, program block tree. The safety block that uh, you really care about is uh, the main safety. That's the only one we'll be working in uh, as far as safety goes. Next I'm going to find a G120 drive that I've plugged into the uh, system. Now once I uh, go ahead and look what uh, is accessible online, I'll find the drive that I'd already named and give it an IP address to. Uh, and there's you've done a basic tune. So what this is going to do is take that drive, insert it into the uh, main project, uh, and then we'll upload uh, the parameters that are in there so that we have the tuning and other uh, parameters that we've set up. We will set the uh, safety parameters uh, inside the drive uh, in video number two. All right, so there's the drive. It's in the project now. Now it's not associated with the PLC yet, so I'll select the PLC. You can also uh, just grab the Profi uh, port and drag a wire to the PLC, whichever way you like. Now they're connected. So the uh, drive will now look for that PLC to be its master. We can look at and see that uh, the addresses now. I previously already set the addresses and the names uh, of these guys, but just going to look at them real quick. See that make sure, of course, they're in the same subnet and they have the profi name. And remember that the name in your project and the name of the actual device always has to be 100% match along with its IP address. Now here uh, I already have uh, inserted the safety telegram uh, 30 which is the most common for uh, this sort of app. Uh, this is the one that uh, I always use. Uh, there are others but this is what you'd normally find. It'll sign a, uh, an actual address. In this case it's uh, 2 is where it starts with that safety telegram. Uh, that's important to know for uh, one of the next steps here. Now the safety block and the drive control block for the 1200s uh, are libraries that you can download from Siemens and then you import them into your libraries. Now this uh, acknowledge basically reset uh, safety is uh, under the, the normal uh, basic safety blocks. That is not a, a library that's already there. Now this next block is one that you'll find in libraries. So you'll have to go download the, uh, the drive uh, safety blocks. You wanna make sure you pick the one that's um, for Telegram 30 that's in the name and for the G drive. Uh, there's a different one for the S drive or different telegrams besides Telegram 30. 
this has to be the block that matches with what you just inserted as your Ethernet um, telegram earlier. This block has kind of a, a strange uh, so we have to create two tags and these tags go, are created off a data structure these data structures are also have to be brought over from the uh, imported from the library um, and basically what this is doing is making like a pointer to the memory uh, uh, point that the safety telegram starts at so as you can see it starts at 2 not zero uh, is the first bit and it uses that as the uh, pointer to uh, send the data uh, not normally the way most of the seamless blocks work so that's kind of a, a unique thing to uh, pay attention to because otherwise your safety won't work now this is also uh, for the 1200 uh, because it doesn't have technology objects uh, for the G or S drives uh, you use these blocks here to uh, control the drive for certain stop and speed uh, what you have to do with this guy which is sort of the normal way most of these blocks do work is you have to find the um, hardware identifier uh, pointer uh, and the one you want to use is the one that's actually set up for um, uh, the telegram so if you highlight over here you can see that this is the normal telegram not the safety we already did the safety uh, and it's got a, a pretty long name or you can just use that number 279 uh, but the uh, nice thing about this is if you do actually move the addresses around later uh, that number uh, is automatically updated in the pointer and you don't have to worry about uh, going back through your program and finding uh, each time you've used this and changing it uh, for the safety block you will if you change the address of that safety telegram you've got to go back and change that variable and point to the actual uh, address not the hardware identifier for the safety block once you do that uh, you can compile it all, download it all. Now my drive actually is already set up to receive that safety telegram. Uh, so I'm not gonna get an alarm saying that the PLC is basically trying to talk uh, to the drive via the standard telegram for control and for safety uh, but uh, you would if actually you uh, did this in the exact order that you normally do it in which is the next thing will be the drive setup portion but the, here I'm just going to reset the drive because it's faulted because the master went away um, and it responded so now I know that everything there is actually talking correctly uh, part two setting the drive up <laughs>